Hey everyone, my name is Nasi and welcome to CloudChamp. In this video, we talk about Devin, the AI software engineer. Most of you might have already heard about this new AI tool, but for those who haven't, let me give you some context. Devin is a new AI software engineer by Cognition Labs, and they claim it to be fully autonomous AI software engineer, which can write code, debug it, test it out, and also deploy it automatically without any human intervention. Which might be crazy, but in this video, we discuss what Devin can do, what it cannot do, and if it can actually replace DevOps engineer roles, or is it just another AI hype? On 12th March, Cognition Labs announced Devin on their Twitter handle and showed a demo of how, when given a prompt, Devin can start writing code, troubleshoot it, and also deploy it. So let's watch it together. So here is the post on Twitter by Cognition Labs. Today we are excited to introduce Devin, the first AI software engineer. Devin is the new state of art on the SWE Bench Coding Benchmark, has successfully passed practical engineering interviews from leading AI companies, and has even completed the real jobs on Upwork. This statement here will make us worry for our jobs. If not you, at least me, because I work as a DevOps freelancer and I work on platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, Turing. So if Devin can actually do this, there's no work for me, my job is taken at least. But anyways, let's see. Uh, Devin is an autonomous agent that solves engineering tasks through use of its own shell, code editor, and web browser. This is something which separates Devin from other AI tools like ChatGPT because they are all text-based, whereas Devin has its own shell, it has its own browser, and its own code editor, which we are going to be seeing in this demo here. So I think this is good. When evaluated on SWE Bench Benchmark, which asks an AI to resolve GitHub issues found in real-world open source projects. Devin correctly resolves 13.86 of the issues, unassisted, far exceeding the previous state-of-art model performance. I think this is bullshit. If you have contributed to open source, you will know there are many GitHub issues which are very simple. So this number is nothing to me. Unless you tell me what issues you have solved. If it is good, I can then consider myself, I can then pack my bags and go back to my village. But this post is actually created for VCs or investors. Uh, not for real programmers. But anyways, let's check the demo here. Hey, I'm Scott from Cognition AI. So this is the CEO of Cognition AI, human software engineer. And today I'm really excited to introduce you to Devin, the first AI software engineer. Let me show you an example of Devin in action. I'm going to ask Devin to benchmark the performance of Llama on a couple different API providers. From now on, Devin is in driver's seat. First, Devin makes a step-by-step -step plan of how to tackle the problem. After that, it builds the whole project using all the same tools. So you can see Devin has four columns here. This is where you're going to get responses from Devin. This is where he, it has a browser and it will go through documentation to get the references from. Here, it has a shell where it can run the application, check the logs and everything else. And this is where it can write code or the code or the right. software engineer would use. Devin has its own command line, its own code editor. Now, as a DevOps engineer, this is very concerning to me. You can see API keys are directly referenced in the code. If you work as a DevOps engineer and you're trying to use AI tools like this, you will have to send your API keys. You will have to send your credentials, which is a very big risk. And companies are not going to do that. At least not now, unless it's very safe. This this is a complete no to me, and I don't think companies are going to use this. So I think at least DevOps engineers are safe. Devin can take jobs for software engineers or entry-level jobs, but DevOps engineers are safe, hopefully. And even its own browser. In this case, Devin decides to use the browser to pull up API documentation so that it can read up and learn how to plug into each of these APIs. Here, Devin runs into an unexpected error. Devin actually decides to add a debugging print statement. So this is, so Devin is doing all this without any human intervention. It detects the error and it automatically also put the code to resolve it, all of that, which is actually good. But, but you don't have to trust demos like these. These are just one of the hundred cases where it will work fine. For 99 of them, it will not work fine. We run the code with the debugging print statement and then uses the error in the logs to figure out how to fix the bug. Finally, Devin decides to build and deploy a website with full styling as the visualization. This is again, uh, very normal. Deploying applications on Netlify or Wurzel is just one click solution. If you do something like deploying on Kubernetes, using CICD and everything else, 
then I would consider that my job is at risk. This is very basic. All this is possible today. So this was the demo. Uh, I think Devin is good, but not at least that good, which will take our jobs. They also have a few more demos here on how Devin can learn unfamiliar technologies, how Devin can contribute to mature production repositories, how Devin can train and fine tune its own AI models, and also how Devin can do real jobs on Upwork. This is something which was interesting to me. So let's have a look. So here's actual real job from Upwork where the client wants to set up this computer vision model, which actually looks quite interesting. It seems very difficult to set up. Um, I'm not sure how I would start doing this, but you know, you give the task to Devin and ask Devin to figure it out and things just kick off. Devin immediately goes ahead and you can see it sort of starts setting up the repo. Good job, Devin. This is really scary, at least for me, because I work as a freelancer. So I hope my clients don't find Devin at least. And as I said, don't trust demos like this. Because I've tried many such AI tools that are already there in the market, which claim to be very super smart on doing DevOps tasks. But when given a simple task like creating S3 buckets, they take hours to do that. So don't trust on demos like this. These engineers take hundreds or thousands of such use cases and one of them works, which they put it here. So unless I try it myself, I'm not scared of Devin taking my job. And I've also applied for this wait list here. You can also do it if you want to try out Devin yourself. So this is the form I have filled to try out Devin. Although here's a demo or a preview of how Devin would look like. Uh, but if I try, if I try to do it, it will give me an error saying that you need to have access and you can join the wait list, which you can do it from here. And if you're concerned about Devin taking your jobs, which is totally valid. At the moment, I don't think it is capable enough to take real DevOps jobs or to solve complex issues. Although it might take some entry-level jobs or replace few engineers, the only way to sustain this is to learn and upskill yourself. There are still few more years before we are going to be getting replaced by AIs. And if you don't believe that, just check this out. Company who is creating AI to replace software engineers are actually looking to hire engineers. So there is still time before we are getting replaced. So don't worry about Devin or getting replaced. So this is all from my end. Let me know what do you think about this new AI tool in the comment section. Will it replace DevOps engineers jobs? Yes or no?